Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am Dial, and I'm here with a special Christmas movie review. So if you guys are subscribed to my channel and you are following me on Twitter, um, I put a poll up there to uh, take requests for whatever Christmas movie you guys want me to review. Um, it was between Elf, A Christmas Story, Home Alone, and The Grinch, uh, the 2000 Grinch with Jim Carrey. Um, it was a very close poll. It was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. But um, we have a winner, as you can see. Um, I want to thank you guys for participating in the poll. Um, I want to do more of these in the future, taking requests of what movie reviews or what shows you guys want me to review in the future. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for participating. But as you can see, we have a winner. Today, we are going to be talking about How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The 2000 movie, the live-action adaptation starting Jim Carrey. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about this movie. So, um, growing up as a kid, I am a big Dr. Seuss fan. I've read a lot of the Dr. Seuss books growing up. And I think these are really nice books for kids to read, you know. I'm always impressed with how many creative ways these books um, can rhyme many different things. And... Um, Overall, I like the like the characters in the books, and they have really nice stories in there. They're very simple stories, but I think these are really good stories for kids to get into in general. So it, overall, I'm a big fan of Dr. Seuss. Um, when it comes to the film adaptations that Universal has been trying to do over the past few years, uh, that's a different story. Um, I have not been the biggest fan of the Dr. Seuss movies i think they they fail to really capture the essence of what the original dr seuss books are now the grinch was their first attempt to make a dr seuss movie um and this is the first dr seuss movie i ever seen um when it comes to the original um book um an animated movie the 1966 animated movie that uh, chuck jones did of the grinch um, I'm a big fan of those. I, I, I've read the book many times, and I've watched the animated movie many, many times. Uh, the animated movie is one of my Chris favorite Christmas movies to watch. Um, so when it came to this live action adaptation, as a kid, you know, I wasn't, um, I wasn't criticizing it too harshly compared to the animated movie because, you know, as a kid, I was happy to get anything Grinch related. So as a kid, I watched the I watched the live action movie a lot. I had the VHS tape, you know. I have that on replay every Christmas season, um, and also I am a big Jim Carrey fan. I know you know Jim Carrey is an acquired taste for a lot of people, but for me, you know, I enjoy his performances for the most part. You know, I like when he's over the top, you know, more times than none. Um, you know, so it was a very interesting choice that they decided to get him to play the Grinch, but. You know, that's what we ended up getting, and you know, it was an interesting choice. Um, also, the, the director they got to, to do The Grinch was Ron Howard. Um, as of late, I have not been the biggest Ron Howard fan. Uh, I think he's a very mid director. A lot of you may know him from directing stuff like the Da Vinci Code trilogy, and probably his most infamous, uh, he directed Solo, a Star Wars story, which uh, is actually a movie I ended up enjoying, but I didn't love it. Um, it was interesting to get him to direct a Grinch movie, but yeah, okay, interesting. Let's see how that goes. Um, so yeah, as a kid, I did enjoy the live action movie. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as the animated film, but you know, I had a good time with it. I, I liked it. I know for a lot of people that the live action Grinch is one of their favorite Christmas movies. Like, you know, when people say like some of the best Christmas movies to watch, uh, this will probably be in the conversation in the conversation for a lot of people excuse me but uh for me uh growing up um processing the story and the characters and how the direction is for this movie you know this uh this movie didn't really hold up very well for me um in fact um i'm not the biggest fan of this movie um yeah i don't really like it that much um, this is probably surprising for a lot of people, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not a fan of this movie. Uh, sorry to break people's hearts, but, uh, yeah, this one, uh, yeah, this was kind of a struggle to get through. Um, now, overall, as a Dr. Seuss film, this is not the worst attempt that they've done. There are other 
Dr. Seuss movies that I've seen that I thought were worse than this. <clears throat> the Cat in the Hat. But, um, but this movie is very... It's very okay, I guess. It's okay at best. You know? Um, for me, like, it suffers from a lot of, like, tonal issues and... I felt the overall performance of the Grinch didn't it didn't really land for me all the way. Um, overall, when it comes to the world that they created for this live action adaptation of the Grinch, um, I didn't find it very warming and inviting like it was in the original book and animated movie. Like in the original source material, the overall world of of Whoville was very colorful. It was very bright. It was very cheery, and you know it was joyous. In this film, I found Whoville to be very moody and gray and dull. But at the same time, you have the, the people of Whoville trying to be very joyous and over the top and cheery. And it just, it felt off. Overall, this movie just felt off the way this movie was directed. Like, you know, it was very gray. The sky was very gray. I barely remembered a time where the sun was shining in this movie. And... And just like the overall, like the costume designs for the Who's, I thought were very weird looking. Um, and this just goes to show why I don't feel like live action adaptations of Dr. Seuss really work. Because there's certain things that they try to translate from the book and the animated movie that doesn't translate very well in this film. Like the people of Whoville have this weird prosthetic noses and weird hairdos and stuff like that it just looked very odd and at the same time they're not fully committing to the designs of the who's because if you read the book and watch the animated movie the who's have furry bodies you know on top of them having the weird noses and the over the top hairdos and some of them not even as over the top as they do in this movie but like they're halfway translating how the who's look in this film and it just it it rubbed me the wrong way in general and overall, when it came to the actual characters of Whoville, um, and one thing from the original book and the animated movie, the the people of Whoville are very cheerous, cheerous people. They're happy. They're, you know, they're very welcoming. They're warm and inviting. They're very positive about Christmas. And in this movie, the people of Whoville are very selfish, stuck up, blockheaded, and weird. You know. I didn't find a lot of people of Whoville very likable, you know. Um, the main, the main like characters we follow is the mayor of Whoville, who I think is probably the most unlikable in this movie. Like he's very selfish and stuck up and making everything about him. And then you have um, Martha May, who, who is literally just a thirst trap in this movie for the Grinch and nothing more. That's literally her character. There's nothing else beyond that. Why does the Grinch have a love interest in this movie? I don't know. They just they just felt like they needed to add stuff in here because the original book and the animated movie wasn't long enough to make a live action feature length film, so they had to add stuff to build the world and develop more story. And we'll definitely talk about those changes in a minute. But um, but yeah, overall the people of Whoville weren't really that likable. You know, um, Cindy Lou Who's parents. You know, I mean. His, her dad is okay, but like nothing really that interesting about him either. And her mother is not anything better. It's just, and it's like they try to add like the who's being so obsessed with gifts because they feel like that's, you know, one of the essence of Christmas is like all the festive stuff and the gift stuff. And that's totally against what the who's were standing for in the original book and animated movie so like overall it just felt very mean-spirited in my opinion i just didn't like that now well i'll talk more about cindy lou who in a minute i guess we should start talking about jim carrey's portrayal of the grinch uh, what i will say is that when it over came to over his overall costume and makeup design for the grinch it's really spot on. I liked it a lot. Um, he looked exactly like a live action adaptation of the Grinch. I, I was very impressed with how much, you know, how much detail they put into the costume design for the Grinch. I was very, very impressed. Um, I did not see Jim Carrey at all in 
that costume and overall his performance either. I did not see Jim Carrey. You definitely felt like he was playing a character. And overall, like, I enjoyed watching Jim Carrey's portrayal, you know? I never was bored watching him. He definitely was trying to make the film more, you know, humorous and enter entertaining and kooky. So, it's like, overall, when it came to Jim Carrey's performance, like, it was entertaining to watch. But I can't fully say that he's committing to the role of the Grinch. I don't think he's even playing the Grinch, like, full, wholeheartedly. Like, Jim Carrey is, he, he Jim carried the Grinch. And I was kind of let down by that, you know? Because, like, in the original book, in the animated movie, like, he's not as kooky and crazy and over the top as Jim Carrey is doing with his portrayal. Like, the original Grinch was really sinister and downplaying stuff and like he had this really maniacal sense about him like there are times where you feel like he would scare kids you know like he's not it's not out of a horror film or anything but like you felt chills when you're watching him i don't feel chills watching the grinch because he's trying to be so crazy and kooky and over the top it just doesn't didn't fully work for me i guess for people that aren't holding on to the original book and animated film i could see why they're entertained by jim carrey's performance but like if somebody that like loved the book and the animated movie like i don't really see a lot of people enjoying this version of the grinch other than you know appreciating how good he looks but i don't know and also he had this weird like his this weird stuffy accent that he puts on like max that's me, my cloak. I'm like, why is he putting on this weird, stuffy accent? There were times in the movie where I didn't even understand what he was saying half the time because he sounded so stuffy and I found them out. I'm like, why is he talking like that? It's just so weird. And then there are times where he tries to be scary, but it just looks dumb, you know? There was that one scene where he's trying to scare cindy at his house in the mountains and it's like he's doing this weird improv and stuff like that there are times where you felt like he was improv throughout this movie like you know like it didn't give him much to work with script wise so it felt like they just told jim carrey to do his jim carrey thing for half the film um probably the one character in this movie that felt anything like the original source material was Cindy Lou Who. You know, I actually really liked her in this movie. And there are times where I felt like she was better than the original book and um, animated movie counterpart of her. You know, I thought she was actually really good at Cindy Lou Who. You know, she felt very warming and charming and, you know, just, just a cute little girl, you know, and was trying to keep the Christmas spirit. You know, you felt like he, she was one of the few characters, if not the only character in this movie, that felt very positive and free-spirited about christmas you know like it felt like she popped out of the book and animated movie into live action so i was very happy about this portrayal and uh, you know i'm surprised that the actress didn't get more work as she grew up you know because i did think she was really good in this movie um so let's talk about the stuff that they added you know they decided to give the grinch a backstory to explain where he came from and overall I appreciate them trying to add more backstory to the Grinch to just show where he came from and why he's so different. But overall, I just felt like that flashback stuff with him as a kid and a baby, like that just kind of fell flat for me because it didn't really add that much to his development that made me feel more compelled to like him as a character, you know? Just like, as I said earlier with the whole, you know, romance if I want to call it that, with Martha May, like, it was nothing. Like, so you're trying to convince me that Martha May, as a kid, was attracted to this little green monster? No. It's disgusting, and I hate it. Like, why? Why is this here? I didn't like that. Like, the only reason that the Grinch hates Christmas. So the whole development that they tried to do with... You know, with the Grinch as a kid, the, the 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 sole reason that the Grinch doesn't like Christmas is because of Martha May. You know, it's because he got embarrassed in class one time, and that's why he hates Christmas. It just felt so surface level to me. I just, I appreciate them tr what they're trying to do, but it's just like, I just didn't feel anything watching that flashback. It just... 
it just felt so artificial to me and i was once again took i was turned off by the whole romance they were trying to do with martha may it was just gross and it's like they didn't even try at all to develop at least a friendship between martha and the grinch there was nothing it was just oh martha thought that grinch was cute and leading him on to like he, for, for that you know and that was it just you know, there was nothing they never developed a friendship or you know they didn't really connect as you know as kids that was there was nothing so that really fell flat for me and just like everything else just like they were trying to do like shot for shot stuff from the animated movie adding their little spin on it like instead of you know max the dog pulling the sleigh that the grinch uses to steal all of the the gifts from whoville they create a rocket sleigh and i guess that's kind of cool i guess but that's it but everything else they try to play out a little bit exactly like the original animated movie other than you know the stuff with the the jubilation and the grinch terrorizing town which i guess was coming close to getting to the sinister essence of the grinch but not that much because the grip once again jim carrey just playing it on a little too much but I don't know guys i'm sorry i really tried to like this movie i really did and like there is said there's not all bad like by the time we you know we have the grinch like you know have his heart grow like it does you know like the original book and the anime movie tells like you know he has a small heart and that's why he's so he's so um grinchy and mean about christmas you know he has a really small heart and then at the end he has a really big heart when he finds out that even when he steals everyone's gifts everyone finds out the true essence of christmas is being spending time with family and giving and you know all that and when he has his heart grow when we get to that part when he gets nicer and you know that whole sequence of bringing the gifts back to whoville like okay that's where we start to to slightly feel some heartwarming nice stuff you know it's, it's trying a little bit harder to keep the essence of the book and the animated stuff but like by that point i didn't think it was enough i don't know like there's some some feel good stuff in this movie you know um it tries to be a musical in, in certain aspects and it barely worked there it does have a really nice song in the movie um where are you christmas you know where are you christmas why can't i find you why have you gone away like that's a nice song i like i like cindy's version and i like the cover that they do in the in the end credits so that that's a nice song that they put on there but like you know and they also of course they do the you're a mean one miss the grinch wow the grinch is doing the montage of him getting ready to steal christmas so they do that and that was that was an entertaining scene i guess um but i just wish the mo the movie felt more like those moments with cindy you know we the, the times we follow cindy lou who or the times where they try to emulate the stuff from the original book and animated film like there wasn't enough of that like it was just trying so hard to be adult and crude themed and then, do in general not just this movie but whenever i see adult humor and crude humor in a dr seuss movie i want to claw my eyes out because like dr seuss are supposed to be for kids why is there adult humor in a in a dr seuss movie like you have scenes like the grinch landing in martha may's boobs and the grinch telling people to puck it pucker up and kiss it who will and putting mistletoe up his ass i'm like what, why are we doing this? And the and the Grinch just acting all weird and gross, just eating stuff like really gross. Like when like in the jubilation, they're giving the Grinch a whole bunch of gross food to eat, like like I don't know what was it, cheesecake pudding, all that stuff. It was gross, nasty. Like why why is this stuff that kids will like? And once again, do I have to remind you about the romance between Martha May and Grinch? It's like. Why is this adult crude humor in here? I didn't like that. Like, man. Overall, like I said, this movie's not awful. There's some... There's slight funny moments here and there with Jim Carrey's performance as the Grinch. I like Cindy Lou Who in the movie, you know? And she has decent chemistry with the Grinch. 
and I think that there is more emphasized when we get towards the end of the movie when the Grinch is nicer. But like in general, this is not the definitive version of the Grinch to me. And I know for certain people, this may be the definitive uh, version of the Grinch, or either this or the the animated Illumination version. I don't know how yeah, how people stand on that. But like in general, I'm just I'm just not a fan of this version. I think the animated the the original animated movie. From 1966 is still the best version of the Grinch to this day. Yeah, even the Illumination one. Like, well, I thought the Illumination one, there were certain things they did better than this live action one, but still didn't fully capture the essence of the Grinch. And I just don't understand why it's so hard for them to to get the get the essence of this source material. Like these books aren't hard shouldn't be hard to adapt since they're so simple to to you know they're such simple stories. I just overall, I just felt really disappointed with this movie. You know, I don't hate it. You know, if it's on, you know, if, if I'm over a friend's house or a family's house and it's on, I would, I guess I would watch it. But like, this is definitely not my go to when it comes to Christmas movies anymore. And it's sad for me to say because I love The Grinch and I love Dr. Seuss so much. And as I said, if you guys love this movie, please keep enjoying this movie. If this is one of your favorite Christmas films to watch every year. Please keep enjoying it. But for me, I just can't get around with it. So overall, I will say that How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the 2000 version with Jim Carrey, I'm going to give a C. It's it's average at best, but you know I can't give it higher than that. It's just very mid-tier to me. But overall, that's how I feel about How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I want to know, what did you guys think about this movie? Do you guys love this version of the Grinch? Do you guys hate it? Did you guys think it was okay? Um... Do you guys like the Dr. Seuss books and movies? Did you guys enjoy the original um, 1966 animated movie? How does this compare to the other versions of the Grinch that we got? Like, which one do you think is the best? Do you like the 1966 version more? Do you like this 2000s live action version more? Or do you guys like the Illumination animated CGI movie with Benedict Cumberbatch? Which one do you guys prefer? I want to know. Comment down your thoughts. Down, comment your thoughts down below. Sorry. Um... I want to thank you guys for voting for this movie. Um, and don't worry, guys. I will I will touch on the other um, Christmas movies I had in the poll at, su at some point in the channel. I am going to re I'll review those at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this Christmas review, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Uh, let's try to get to that goal. And pretty soon, I want to get to 1,000. So... Please help me out. At least leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, if you want to be notified of future videos I'll be doing, don't forget to hit the bell while you're at it. But yeah, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. I hope you guys have a happy holidays. I hope you guys are enjoying it with your family. I hope you guys are keeping warm. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.